ask my new friend. So it'll go on top of here. First of all, I'll make one for this inverted here. I made another variant where I uh, put it like so and then drilled two holes. Um, that was okay, but now I think I'll do it. Uh, uh, yeah, and then we had another version here where I'll just use the blade directly here. Then we'll, I'm not finished here, but we'll make some sort of arrangement like this. But then here now I just will do it the normal way with two screws on top. So I can adjust this this way. So I'm just uh, trying to clamp it in the same height now as this one. That just shows arbitrarily for for a five mil down. And I'm feeding slowly and manually just to feed my way first. As I said, I have proven that you can take the whole uh, 14 mil or so in one go, but I don't need to do that. So I'm going to also try this with back gear to see the difference. Okay. I guess we can try to take it uh, the rest in one go with back gearing. 11 mil uh, deep cut. Just trying. Yep, it moves in, that's okay, and then I'll take that one a little bit down because of the fact that this, this now fits to the depth here, but this one is a bit shallower. This should not match the profile here, like so. Just taking away the the rag here. The Arboga here has a capacity from 100 RPM up until 2,900. So you can really uh, do this here, and it's gear driven. I'm drilling now, I just put a sacrificial plate down there. I have marked out the center. So I put down this as far as it goes, because then my clamping would be more secure. Okay. 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 And then the holes uh, here, six mil bolt yips, and then it's a five mil hole. Now, just measure how much difference, I mean, how much I should go down with everything assembled now to that point. That should be easy. Seems to be something like um, three mil, so I'll go three millimeter down here on that side. After some unsuccessful attempts to mill it down there, um, with my clamping method, I didn't want to take off the wise again. I will then try this method instead. In my opinion, that was really a lot uh, easier. So, um, so beginning with an interrupted cut. I 
I am planning to make uh, some more of these two loaders for the Myford, in this case uh, for a 16 millimeter or even smaller tool of course, just a cutout and um, the simplest method really possible. So I'm just going to drill a hole here first and then enlarge it, both ends. Um, maybe I will drill the hole in the lathe here also, making use of the lathe as much as possible. So the only uh, really uh, need for the milling machine would be to cut the slot and then the drill press to, to drive through two holes to hold the tool. Um, just thought I'd like to show you at least I like to, uh, to make use of the lathe as much as possible. So first of all, uh, I have to replace this with a four jaw. So then it's only a matter of sliding this on. Like so, and then turning this holding it, then securing at least one of the screws before I open up here and rotate to take the next. <coughs> so checking out all our I usually don't run the four draw so fast, so that's it, 200. Nice. So it doesn't have to be super accurate, but at least they're good enough to be able to bore, bore out the center and flatten this. I find it easier to, to do that in the lathe actually than in the milling machine, at least with the four draw. And then the cutter I use is the, the regular cutter here for uh, grooving, uh, four millimeter grooving tool. Open up the hole to uh, what was it? Ten mil. I'm risking a bit the deeper cut and the faster feed rate. So that's uh, finished turned, but as I said, uh, the slot here, I'll position this so that I can take or skim off a little bit if necessary. So a little bit above, maybe a millimeter or two and just skim off that amount if needed here. Over at the mill. There. There's a ripper end mill, so... Uh, just watch it, so...
reducing to half depth and taking it in two passes. It's still 8 mm depth. Trial fit. Yeah. That should be okay. So drilling and tapping. I settled on three M6 soles. Three screws and I will sink them down because I have room enough here so that the heads are <coughs> flush with the top here because the bottom this is really too high and for sinking down i use also then a drill and then a, an end wheel i think that is the easiest now <coughs> 